Do you fear about monosodium glutamate causing cancer or anything in your food? If you do, then you have to listen to this uh, presentation. Again, this is uh, Dr. Pramil. I work as a chief medical officer in the United States also, an associate professor of medicine. Today is our talk about monosodium glutamate. Um, unfortunately, this is like one of those substances got a lot of media attention. So what happened was in the, I think it was in the 1970s, somebody, some doctor decided to write a letter to the editor for New England Journal of Medicine, the most prestigious um, um, medical journal in the United States, describing something called the Chinese food syndrome. Okay. In today's world, I don't think anybody's going to put like, you know, they've, they've said like ponosodium glutamate cause like a lot of uh, problems like palpitation, nausea, dizziness, tingling, um, and all of those kind of thing. And they labeled as Chinese food syndrome and it created like a lot of hysteria and then it become a racist. A lot of people were like against the Chinese food. It created such a, an enormous effect, bad effect, I would say. People were th saying all kind of things that can cause cancer and all of those things which is no, I mean, which is not, it does not have a scientific base. Okay, so let's look about what is monosodium glutamate. Glutamic acid, that's what you need to know. It's one of those amino acids present everywhere. You got plants, you got meats, everywhere is present. Okay, so when you when you say about monosodium glutamate, it's you're just adding one more or molecule of sodium to glutamate and to produce monosodium glutamate. And uh, when you look at it, there's five tastes we have, right? There is uh, salt, sweet, sour, bitter, and the last one is umami. And this monosodium glutamate works on the nerve cells and start firing and kind of affect our taste. People love, you know, the palatability is good and all that. And uh, most of the time they use it in Chinese food. So it kind of creates such a bad impression that people were eating for a while the Chinese food and all of that. Okay, so just like a, a little bit of background on uh, monosodium. Uh, it's also called aginomoto. Uh, that is the other common name, but there are other lot of names and all of that too. Chinese food is not safe. People are kept on saying that even though this monosodium glutamate is in the Campbell soup and only Chinese uh, people got, um, you know, criticized. None of the other food, uh, everything kind of say like blame it on the Asian. So why myth persisted? You know, once the fear take hold, especially if it pays into the cultural or racial narratives, it sticks even it's a disproven, okay? People always remember the bad things. Food companies even started labeling no MSG to appear to sell their food much better, okay? Everybody is trying to make money. So all of those kind of created, but there's no scientific base. The MSG, monosodium glutamate, started with the letter, not science, followed by misinterpreted studies in the rat, media sensationalism, racial bias, and uh, all of this kind of lead to very bad uh, review of this. So, Parmesan cheese naturally contain monosodium glutamate. Let's clarify. Yes, but it's naturally occurring glutamate. Not anything, you know, not added, it's naturally occurring. Parmesan um, contains free glutamic acid, the exact same molecule that give monosodium glutamate savory, the umami flavor, okay? In fact, Parmesan is one of the richest natural source of glutamate. The flavor explosion, when you sprinkle Parmesan on pasta, that is the glutamate at work, my friend, okay? So what is the difference between uh, monosodium glutamate and glutamate in Parmesan. The body cannot tell the difference between glutamate from Parmesan and monosodium glutamate from a packet. It processes the both same way. Both affect the nerves the same way. Both affect the taste and all that. So what are the other natural sources of glutamate include tomatoes, mushrooms, and soy sauce, uh, seaweed, and um, <clears throat> aged meats and cheeses, all of those have, uh, you know, rich glutamic acid. So the bottom line, when you talk about the Parmesan, it's a naturally occurring glutamate. It's the same component or same compound as added MSG and just from a natural source. And both are safe to eat. Again, both are safe to eat. That's the message we wanted to. So a lot of sensational is created, but against Chinese food, just because somebody wrote a letter to the editor. In today's world, you know, everything have like randomized control studies, research study to back it up. Right now, when we did like a lot of research, we did not find anything to back it up the bad effects of MSD, monosodium glutamate. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. God bless.